Hello friends! Suppose you found the reason to move from PostgreSQL to Yuga by DB, and your next step is to migrate your application schema and data from your PostgreSQL instance to a distributed Yuga by DB cluster. What's the easiest way to accomplish this step? Yuga by DB Voyager, a new migration tool. Let's see how it works in practice. All right, let's start with a quick intro to Yuga by DB Voyager. With Voyager, you can migrate schema and data from PostgreSQL, as well as PostgreSQL compliant databases, such as Amazon Aurora, Google Cloud SQL, or Azure SQL for Postgres. Also, if your application uses MySQL or Oracle, that's not a problem because Voyager can also migrate your data from those databases. So our application for today is an e-commerce website. Think about Amazon or Walmart where you can go daily to buy different products. Our application is written in uh, Next.js, JavaScript, both backend and frontend. Uh, we have a Stripe integration so that the users can pay for actual products. Uh, the pictures of the products are stored in Minayur, a three compatible storage. And PostgreSQL is the primary database, the database for the application data. Hasura GraphQL engine sits in between our backend, frontend, and Postgres because the application uses GraphQL APIs to uh, work with the database. So the goal is to uh, migrate this application from Postgres to YugaByDB. This is how the application uh, looks like. So not the best uh, design, but it comes with different products. You can surf through their uh, product catalog. You can select a product that you like to buy. You have the description, you have the price, you have similar products and customer reviews. Presently, the data is stored in uh, Google Cloud SQL uh, managed, managed Postgres version. And the goal is to migrate to a distributed Yugabyte uh, DB cluster uh, that uh, runs in my South Carolina region. I have a three node cluster. All right, that's the setup and that's a quick intro to Yugabyte DB Voyager. Now let's start with the export and import. First, let me connect to my uh, existing Google Cloud SQL database and show you the schema. So we have uh, many tables, we have sequences, we have store procedures and triggers. For instance, uh, if you request the first 10 products, this is what you will get. So the data is there. That's our primary uh, database. All right, uh, let's start with the migration. The first step is we need to export schema using the export schema command of Yugabyte uh, Voyager tool. And here, as you can see, that I'm connecting to the same uh, Google Cloud SQL instance, the same IP address. Okay, the export of the schema is in progress. All the data is being exported uh, onto my local laptop, but you can use any uh, instance or any virtual machine in your private network if necessary. So their export went well. And the next step is uh, to use the analyze schema command to make sure that you don't need to introduce any changes to the migrated schema. Let's run this command. Here is we've got the report. Uh, let's take a look at it. So the report says that we migrated one schema public. Also, the application uses pgcrypt extension. We have uh, nine tables uh, in the schema. There are two uh, stored procedures and we have eight triggers. Pretty powerful uh, application. And the invalid count property is set to zero for all of these database objects, which means that you don't need to change the schema for Yuga by DB. And that's their PostgreSQL compatibility in action. After that, let's uh, export data from our Cloud SQL uh, database. For that, we are using the export data command and connect to the same uh, PostgreSQL instance. All right, we have nine tables. These are all of those tables. The export has started and it should take you know, 10 or 20 seconds to finish it. Done. So these are the tables and that's the number of records in those tables. Not a big database, but a very good sample applications for different experiments. All right, we are ready to import data 
to yugabyteDB cluster. So let's do this first. Uh, let me uh, connect to my uh, yugabyteDB cluster. I'm closing the session with Cloud SQL. And uh, that's my connection to yugabyteDB. So here is, you see that there are no any relations yet, no any tables in the database. Let's fix this. So step number four, we are again using Yuga by DB Voyager, but right now we are going to import the schema uh, to our Yuga by DB cluster, and I'm using Yuga by DB Managed, and that's the address of one of the nodes. Let's start. All right. Okay, you can see that we have applied, we created the schema just in case, then we are creating an extension that is used by the application. We are adding all of those uh, tables and then uh, we are altering tables by adding foreign key and uh, other constraints okay so the migration of the schema went well uh, let's uh, double check it so right now when I execute this command all right we've got uh, all of the tables how about uh, any data no no any data yet so I don't have any products all right which means that we can migrate the data. So for the data migration, we are using import data command and we are connecting to the same database. Let's import it. Okay, the import happens in our parallel. We are using the copy command of PostgreSQL. That's the fastest way to preload the data both in YugabyteDB and Postgres. All right. We imported the data. Uh, let's see that the data is there. Wonderful. We've got those products. The phase is over. But there is uh, one more step uh, in the migration. After the data is imported to Yuga by DB, we need to apply indexes and different triggers because usually you don't need those during the migration phase. For that, uh, we are using the same import schema command, but in the end, we need to provide this flag post import data. Okay, and we created different triggers. This is what was missing. Wonderful, the database is ready. Now let's switch our application uh, from Google Cloud SQL, from Postgres to Yuga by DB. So my application again is running on the local laptop. Uh, let's stop this application. It runs in Docker. And uh, while the application is being stopped, uh, that's the application configuration file. Here is Vivio connecting to Google Cloud SQL. Let's remove it. And now we are going to connect to YugaByDB. That's their connection string to my YugaByDB managed instance. All right. The Docker file is changed. Uh, also now, just in case, let me remove the container yeah we will start clean and finally uh as long as we are using hasura uh, we need to apply the metadata that's a hasura specific step okay because i need to yeah this exception happens because i have not started my application uh, on yuga by db uh, let's start this application All right, the application is being started. I mean, IO is up and running. Next.js is also up. So it will take, you know, 20, 30 seconds to get things ready. Okay, GraphQL engine has connected to our Yugabyte DB cluster. No any issues. So now let's go ahead and repeat this hasura metadata apply command okay now we have connected to yuga by db managed cluster and we are just creating uh, metadata related to the hasura everything went well perfect so the last check the application has connected to yuga by db the metadata for hasura has been applied let's go back to our application let's refresh the screen okay It takes time for Next.js 
to uh, run your request for the first time because it needs to compile uh, your code and produce actual HTML files. But that's what we've got. We can take a look at different product catalog and we can select the product. We can read it, etc. So this is how the migration went. So several steps. You have your PostgreSQL database, you have YugaByDB, and then you can use YugaByDB version to migrate your application within several minutes. All right, it was fast and easy, wasn't it? The next step, give a try to YugaByDB version. Take your existing application that runs on PostgreSQL and migrate it to YugaByDB. If the migration goes well and you like the tool, then ring the bell and subscribe to this channel to get notified about future videos on distributed SQL. Stay tuned. See you soon.